welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Central Victoria. For today's card, we are making this one. Isn't it gorgeous? Lots of embossing. Let me open it up a little bit. We're doing a bit of partial die cutting, which is a bit of a fun technique to use. And I've also used the faux metal technique here as well. Um, I did this in a blog hop with the Global Monthly Video Collab Group in February so if you would like to see um, that technique go back through and in February the end of February I actually have a blog hop that I took part of now this I'm actually using the same bundle that I used for the Ink and Inspiration blog hop so we're using the wish for it all bundle it's in the annual catalog this is one that as soon as I saw it in the annual catalog I knew I had to have it I haven't had a chance to play with it too much but I am bringing it out um, this month for a few different um, projects so stay tuned um, this is a really great set stamp set and uh, die set to be using so cute so many different ideas there so we're using uh, this stamp here as well as a sentiment hoping your day gives you the best kind of memories and I'm also using the two dies for this doily cute doily. The other supplies we're using are the Versamark ink, the embossing buddy and I'm using gold embossing powder. I'm also using the heat tool to do the heat embossing. The card kit is really minimal so this is a really great one to use if you don't have a lot of supplies. It is a crumb, bake, crumb cake card base, half a piece of A4, scored in half. I'm going to burnish and I'll fold and burnish on that card front. Now you can find all these measurements and supplies over on my blog. There is a link to that blog post in the description of this video and you can see that all there. So before we do our heat embossing, we're going to do our die cutting. So let's bring a big shot in and we'll do that partial die cutting first. So I have my card base here, opens on here on this side. We want to cut out, it's sort of in the middle there, so around here. And we're using the solid die for that one. So what I want to do is I want to place it so I have the corners of each of the doily right on the edge there. So just like that. Now I always find sometimes it's easier to grab some washi tape and just tape that down with some washi tape. That way it's not going to move. Um, quite often I'll put something into my big shot and um, if I don't tape it down it's an intricate um, die. It will move on me and I don't like that. You're wasting cardstock. Okay so the big tip here we have it Place down with some washi tape. We need to open the card front up. There we go. And then I can place it down onto the cutting plate. Now the way the Big Shot works is it's the pressure from the two plates together that will cut out um, with the die. Now to do partial die cutting where we don't want it to die, to die cut, which is this piece here, what we're gonna do is I'm going to place the plate in and I'm just going to put the edge of the plate up with that edge of the card. So let me bring that out and I'll just show you what I mean. So you can see there the edge of the card, so where it's been scored is where the edge of the plate is sitting. Let's place that through. Careful not to move anything. So because the plate's not sitting on this part of the die, it's not going to cut out. So let's run that through the big shot. Let's see how it's done. Now it didn't quite go to the edge, so I'm just going to bring my paper snips in and just cut to the edge. It's just where I popped it on the edge. It didn't go quite. So there's no big deal. There we go. And now it opens up at that score line. 
Now we also need to use that more detailed doily and the other piece of crumb cake. And we're going to die cut two of those doilies. So let's pop them through. Now this is a really intricate die. Let me just show you. So there's lots of little pieces inside. I'm just gonna push out the doily part, not the little pieces part. It comes out really quickly and easily. Still a few little pieces in there that I can just pop through. Now if you have the brush that's an, that's an attachment that goes on your Take My Pick tool, that would work over your die to get all those little pieces of card out. Um, we used to carry um, a die brush, which I own. I don't own the one for the Take My Pick tool. But if you run that over um, your die, that will get all those little pieces out. Or you could just sit here and pop them all through. Now I will say if you're doing multiples, you really need to make sure that you pop these through before you try and die cut the next one because it won't cut as well if there's um, cardstock already stuck in there. Okay. So I'm not going to do that because that'll take me a little while but yeah, as you can see, look at all those pieces. Heaps and heaps. And I've just got that other one. It's just a couple more that I need to punch through. This is a really pretty die though, isn't it? Okay. So now we're left, now we're right to start doing our heat embossing. So I'm going to start with the faux metal technique first because that does take a little while to do. I'm also gonna bring in just a piece of scrap paper to protect my surface. I'm going to do half, half of the doily at a time. So I'm just going to run some Versamark over it. This is a clear sticky ink. And it's gonna stick the embossing powder straight to it. You can do the whole thing at once, uh, but leaves you very little place to actually hold on to uh, your piece. So we're going to heat that up and melt that powder. Okay, now to really get that metal look, we need to do the whole process again on top of this. So we're doing two layers of the embossing. Let's bring that Versamark in, that should be dry enough now. and heating that up and melting it again. So we've done that two times now. It's a really great um, effect there. We're gonna do the other side that hasn't been done. Let's ink it up.
So we have one here made. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go and make the other one and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I have my two faux metal decorations done. Let's start our embossing of our card front. So I'm just gonna add three of these doily images that are gonna be heat embossed. So I'm going to bring in that stamp. And this has so much detail, it's so pretty. And all three of these ones are going to be stamped off uh, the card front. Last one. Just down the bottom here. So we're going to bring in that gold again. If you have any stray loose powders, you can either use your finger or a paintbrush to get rid of them. Not too many there, so that's good. I'm also going to bring the sentiment in and do that one. This is a really beautiful sentiment. got my big fingerprint just there so let's get rid of that with the paintbrush okay. so these are just going to be heated with the heat tool until the powder melts again Now the trick to it not warping your cardstock too much is to try and heat up your heat tool a bit before you're popping it down onto your cardstock. So I'm also going to be uh, heating bossing the sentiment inside, but let's work on these faux metal works. Now it is coming off the edge, but I don't want to chip that off until I've got all my pieces into place. Let me show you a great way to get your die cut pieces, especially your intricate die cut pieces, and glued down with minimum fuss. I'm using the silicon craft sheet here, and also I've just got a sponge that I use. So this is just a stampin' sponge that I've cut into eighths. I'm going to pop a little bit of the Tombow Mono glue down. Bit clogged up hang on it's very clogged up it's gonna just squish out one that's almost empty there we go And I'm just going to pop this on the silicone craft sheet 
grab a little bit of that glue and I'm dabbing it all over the back of the die cut. Okay, I'll pick that up. Bring it down where I want it. I'm actually gonna stick the block straight on top just for a minute and that'll get it into its right position and the glue will hold because it only takes a couple of seconds for that Tombow Mono Multi Glue uh, to take effect. So we're going to take it to the back, take our snips and just cut that excess. Easy. Now inside the card we want to open it up and see that piece in here as well and I think it's best because I don't want to glue it straight down onto here. I'm going to mark it just along that seam, that score line. Let's bring the paper snips in. I'm just lining that up and chopping that piece off. Okay, let's pop some glue on the back of that one as well. Sticking the acrylic block straight over it as well. And that's got that glued straight into place. Now let's open it up. And we're going to take that sentiment that says, wish for it all. I don't even have on a block yet. Let's bring that in. I'm going to bring my embossing buddy in because I probably should have used that earlier. But I really don't want to get a whole heap of stray powder on this one. I will say that heat embossing is definitely one of my favorite techniques. It's a real wow factor. Um, stamping up hold a lot of different embossing powder colors, which is awesome. There's lots of metallic, but then we have the black as well and white. And I pushed my stamp down a little bit hard there. So let's just take those pieces off. I'm gonna heat that up. And there we have the card. Hidden for everyone when they open it up, but look at that sparkle. Push it through. And not only do we have a surprise there, but we open the card up and there's an even bigger surprise. So a super cute card. Um, once again, using very minimal supplies, so that always makes a good card sometimes. You don't need to have everything to create some really beautiful cards. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you left me a comment. I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd really appreciate um, you hitting that subscribe button and watching my videos. I'll be back very soon with another video, so I hope you can join me for that one. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.